Howdy campers, and welcome back to your least boring summer ever. Right here at Camp Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Rober, and this is week eight of our supercharged summer camp experience. And of course, as you know by now, Camp Crunch Labs is two parts. The first are these videos that we release every Saturday, and those include the mega experiments that I do that look like this. And then the super challenges that you do that look sort of like this. And then with the super challenges, my favorite one that gets submitted for the whole summer is this special stick it in wood platinum ticket, which means you're coming out here with me for week 12, where the mega experiment is so big, it might be visible from the moon. So the videos are one part of Camp Crunch Labs, but the second part are the weekly build boxes. And actually this week is in honor of box eight which is this really cool boomerang car. And here, the principle we learn about is worm gears. And what makes this boomerang car really interesting is you could change the amount this dial is open and then it will go down the table or wherever. It'll magnetically pick up something like this cup and then it bring it back to you and it just goes back over and over again. So if all that sounds cool, you can visit campcrunchlabs.com with your parents check it out and learn more. Today for our special guest is someone who's a little bit homegrown. I'm just gonna get right to it. Daniel. You guys recognize Daniel? Probably not, because guess what? He's one of our toy designers here at Crunch Labs. So welcome, Daniel. Thanks for having me, Mark. Let's tell the fine folks at home what your job is. What do you do? We come up with new toys to build and test out and prototype. And the ones that we really like and that are super fun, we put into boxes and we send them right to your door. Now, Daniel, I am incredibly stoked today for the mega experiment. Do you know what it is? Hmm, I think I have an idea. You've heard rumors around the lab of what's going on. Let's check it out because it's sort of mind blowing and I'm very, very excited to try it. Let's head over to the picnic table. All right. We got some campers. Get the heck over here. Today we got Michael, Liam, Colin, and Dolan. You guys, you see this. You know what this might be? Like the balloon blows and then the air propels down and then it moves it. That seems like a pretty darn good guess. Well, let me show you something. Put that in, you twist it, you put this over. Nothing's happening now, right? That's just kind of boring. Can we all agree on that? Yes. yes. Okay, but if I pop this cap, how sick is that? Is that cool? It's like a mini hovercraft. And then when it runs out of air, what happens? It stops. It stops. Because the gravity is solid. It's too much gravity, right? Liam, what do you think is happening? What's the physics principle at play here? All the air goes down and it lifts just a little. And then when you push it, it's, it's like light. Yeah, if you don't have any air going through the cap, there's so much friction, it just slows it down and nothing cool happens, right? But this balloon is under pressure. All the latex on the balloon is trying to pull in. So that's gonna take that air and it's gonna squeeze it where? Down here. And you guys know this. What happens if I let go? It'll fly all around. Jet propulsion. Oh yeah! So that exact same thing happens. It's gonna squeeze the air out. The air comes through this cap. It has to come out the bottom under the CD and all the air kind of goes out to the side creates this really cool cushion of air. And if you're riding on a cushion of air, you're hovering, which is why we call these hovercrafts. It's like being on ice. Yeah. It just becomes really low friction, right? Super cool. So Daniel, why don't you show how you actually can do this? So we got a hot glue gun. We've got a CD, if you know what one of those is, <laughs> and one of these little pop-in bottle caps. We're gonna put some hot glue around the bottom of our bottle cap and then stick that right in the middle of the CD. Blow up a balloon, put it on top. How cool is this? You just made this in like 20 seconds with simple things. 10 thing. seconds actually. 10 seconds actually, I was wrong. Thank you for <laughs> keeping time. You just did that in your head? Yeah. That's impressive. Let's do a competition here. You guys wanna blow up some balloons? Okay, Liam, you're our official timer. You wanna count us down? Yeah. From 85. Three. Wait, 85? Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Three, two, one. Slide it, send it all around. <laughs> Wait, God! He's too tied. I think what we might have to do is scale this up. What if 
we took this, made it so big that you guys could sit on it. Would that be cool? Yeah. Would that be fun? Yes. Your own personal hovercraft? Yes. Well, guess what I got around the corner? Oh, Our own personal yeah. hovercraft? No, just a chair. <laughs> just kidding. You ready for the big reveal? Oh. This is... Ah. Chair. It's not just a chair. It's a hovercraft chair. It's a hovercraft chair because what's on the back right here? A motor. A motor. But it's a motor for a specific kind of machine. What happens in the fall and there's leaves everywhere? A leaf blower. That's right, a leaf blower. Or if you take the nozzle off a leaf blower, slap it to a circular piece of wood like this that has a hole in it. When you turn the air on, all that air comes down and creates a hovering platform. Slap a sinking chair on top, you got yourself a personal hovercraft. You guys wanna see it? Yeah! Are you sure you wanna see it? Yeah! yeah! All right, so to get it going, flip this switch. I hovered, but I didn't have any way to propel myself around, right? Yeah. Well, I got a solution for that. No! Oh, no. <laughs> All right. This is our jet propulsion. You might think of it as a fire extinguisher, but thanks to Newton's third law, conservation of momentum, if I fire a bunch of CO2 that way, guess where I'm gonna go? That way. The opposite way. Now, safety first, I'm gonna wear this. You guys should probably stand up there, put on some eyeglasses. You gentlemen ready? Yeah! yeah. Here we go. I've never tried this before, so bear with me. Uh -oh. Turn it on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Try something now, guys. So we're trying to make it all the way to the conference room. The name of the game here is accuracy. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. No, probably not. Speedy. Yeah, I'm not feeling good about my chances here. Here we go. Okay. Ah! Ah! You want to aim me straight. Does that make sense? Cause it's yeah, sort of. You're still gonna die. Go! Let go, let go, let go! Let go, let go! Third time's a charm. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Yes! Good job. Well, that was fun, but I think we could take it up a notch. What if we do a little bit of hovercraft jousting? I get it. Oh, yeah. We'll sit into the chair, and you're gonna try and joust and hit the target on the other chair. Oh. And so the last hovercraft still standing wins the competition. Now for protection, we've got some helmets here. You gotta protect your cranium. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. And one, go! Okay, let go, let go. All right, everything rides on this. One, two, three, let go, let go, let go, let go. Good work, team. All right, back to the picnic bench. 
That was really cool. That was Amazing. so cool. Was that awesome? Your own personal yeah. hovercraft? Yeah. yeah. Is that how you want to get to school from now on? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us, campers. Get the heck back to your tents. It's way past your bedtime. Get out of here. Back to your tents. Thanks for almost killing me. You're welcome. <laughs> and Daniel, our resident toy designer, I think it's time for you to get the heck back to work. All right, well that was our mega experiment for the day. Now we get to my favorite part, which is to review the submissions for last week's super challenge. And the assignment last time was to see who could make the best toilet paper laser maze. So let's take a look. I gotta go to the bathroom. Done. Huh? What is that? Laser? This entire laser maze I have to go through. I'm gonna need my outfit for this. Alexa, cut flags. Who's the best toilet paper laser maze starting in two, two, one, go? Once again, the creativity here was just off the charts. I said a toilet paper laser maze. And then you guys come out and start using red yarn to actually look like a laser. Or even red lights that light up. Or even stinking lasers themselves that will sound an alarm if the laser gets interrupted. Bombs? Yeah. The one that can blow up the entire world? We have to escape to the tropical summer beach. Yeah. Ruby, don't go down that way. hard to make a decision, but I think when it comes down to it, these four are my favorites. So if one of those was yours, be checking your mailbox for one of these super dope signed Camp Crunch Labs patches, and of course my favorite of the whole summers, coming out here for the week 12 super mega experiment. All right, so for this week's super challenge, you need to make an epic house of cards. I used to do these a little bit when I was a kid. There's certain strategy to make them a little bit easier to build. So here's some tips on how to make your super epic. All right, so here's some pointers on making your first house of cards. First of all, do it on carpet. That's just gonna help you a lot because it gives more friction for your base. Second of all, if you're using a brand new pair of cards, they're gonna be really slippery. You don't have to use playing cards. You can use like Uno cards or really any set of cards. So break them in if they're really slippery. Again, because that lack of friction will get you. So there's this TP method, which is kind of the classic house of cards, which you can see me building here. And the problem is they fall down real easy. So the trick is you use a glue stick. And this isn't cheating. This is like training wheels for your first house of cards. Because it doesn't actually glue them together, it just increases the friction and makes it a little bit tackier. So it's easier to see success quicker as you get a feel for it. So you build up a base kind of like this, and then don't forget to put glue on top of your card because now this becomes the next level floor. And then you can build up the next level and then move on to the third level. Now, of course, with a little glue on the back of these, they're a little bit tacky, but you can just designate them as your official house of cards cards. 
Now there's a second method for making a house of cards that I kind of like a little better. And that's where you take four cards and make a little square in the middle like this, like a ninja star. And then you just lean up a card against the edge of any single card you see sticking out like this. So a little bit of glue stick. And then anywhere where I see a card pointing out, I just put a card perpendicular to that right in the middle. And then if you keep filling that out, eventually you got a nice little foundation here, which allows you to put a little more glue on the top of the cards to make your first level floor. And then if you just repeat that pretty soon, you'll find you've got a house of cards that's pretty wide and pretty tall. And then once you've made your house of cards, you need to come up with a creative yet safe way to destroy it and knock it all down. Of course, with everything, work with your parents, get their permission, and then once you've shot that video, post it online, tag us at Crunch Labs, use the hashtag Camp Crunch Labs contest, and then you know for sure that I will see it because I see all of these. I can't wait to see your creativity and building prowess on this one. All right, campers, that's it for this week. Time to get to work on your super challenges and putting your build box together, and I'll catch you next week right here at Camp Crunch Labs. But before I go, I just gotta try this. Whatever. Do something cool!